I got big news, guys. Well, at least regular size news. Check this out. I got my big tires back. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. Guys, as you saw, got my big tires back, my man card. Uh, feels good, so we're gonna go test those out. Actually, it was perfect timing getting those tires in. My little sister uh, wanted her wheels back for her roller skates, so I had to give those back to her anyway, so I would have been wheelless. But anyway, let's go, uh, let's go land somewhere and uh, wear in these tires. I'm just flying over man on the moon right now. It's been a while since I've been in there. A little bit of snow, not much. We'll set up for an approach. This one does have a go around. I've done it before, so uh, if I need to, I will. The hardest part, this one's like impossible to see on the way in. I have a rock cairn out there somewhere, but then half the problem is seeing the rock cairn because there's other rocks around in the vicinity. I think I see it. I got it. So nice on the big tires. So squishy and mushy and nice. You can't even screw up a landing. Oh man, I forgot how great that was. You just can't beat bush wheels. Honestly, you'd have to feel it to understand it. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, I will say I am impressed with that little prop on the front of here. That was not bad for getting me out of there. So yeah, considering that prop is eight inches shorter than my old Prince, and it's even a, a kind of narrower profile, I am really impressed with the performance, especially for 700 bucks. You're like, why not? All right, guys, I know a lot of you guys were asking for updates on the bush wheels. So basically, I sent them to a guy up in Idaho who uh, is a really good builder. He builds a lot of airplanes, and he has this compound that he uses for basically patching over bush wheels where it shows threads. So when you wear through like I did and you start seeing threads, normally you just mix a little bit, put it over that, and he said it makes it last forever. Um, he has recoded an entire set of tires before, but that's not normally what he does. But he said he could do it, sounded pretty confident in it. So I sent my tires up as well as a buddy of mine. My buddy actually beat me to the chase, so he got his tires up there and got them back before I did. Now his, I don't know if it's just because he got a really light coating on it or, or what, but um, he like, it, it only lasted one landing and he did, you know, pivot on the tire pretty hard, which is always hard on tires, but still it was like pretty sad how long it lasted. So currently I don't know that I have very high hopes for the, these coatings on these tires, but I'm going to give them a run, see how long they last. The good thing is, I, I mean, the way that they're adhered, I'm not worried about it like delaminating and flinging through my wing. But, you know, it, it would just suck to, to have it start wearing through and make a mess. And then I got to either sand all this stuff off or coat back over it with something else. So huh, it's just the challenge, you know, when you're going to be cheap and not buy new bush wheels when you need to, uh, there's going to be some extra work involved. So I'll keep you guys posted as I... Uh, you know, figure out more with these bush wheels. So far, I mean, happy with the first dirt landing, but I, I really need to go wear them in on pavement and see how they wear. But at the same time, I don't really want to do that because I don't want to have to recode them. I just want to be able to go fly. So, anyway, on final for uh, Rocky Meadow. This is where I ripped my tail wheel or broke my tail wheel shock once. I've broken a lot of tail wheels or tail wheel springs, I should say. I've never actually broken a tail wheel or the fuselage. Just the springs seem to be the weak point. It's just so nice being on big tires again. <laughs> it's just like, I can't even explain. You know, the shocks do a lot for helping with your rebound and bouncing you back into the air. Now the tires though, help you roll over everything. And it's really the combo that makes a plane like this truly shine. You'd be blown away. I mean, I landed just now on a whole bunch of rocks it doesn't even feel like it. So, you know, obviously in addition to making it feel nicer and making my landings look nicer, it, uh, it protects your airframe, which to me is, you know, a big deal. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. I 
I don't like to rip it off that one too uh, quick and drop my tail because that's exactly what I did with actually Nick, the, the builder guy. He was in the plane when I did it. Uh, we rotated, grabbed a rock with the tail wheel, flung the rock, broke the shock on the tail wheel, and I looked at my shadow and the wheel's just dangling down. <laughs> so luckily, you know, if you practice enough with the wheelie landings and wheelie taxiing, I was able to land on the mains, keep it on the mains all the way to the, the hangar, and then I set the tail down and, you know, it, it didn't do any damage. So this one in front of me, I call goats because the first time I was here it was covered in antigoats or antelope. But, um... It's an interesting one because it's kind of this double hump little hill that I land coming up in a turn. I land, you know, my downhill wheel up and I kind of like make it into like a, a banked turn as I roll my, my roll out up to the top. Super fun one. It's the one that uh, with most passengers, they're going to be sitting there going like, what are you doing? But uh, once you see it and once you get it, it, it makes sense pretty well. So it's a really fun little one. Um, a lot of times, though, it's interesting. This little valley, it could be dead calm everywhere else and just swirling through this little canyon that I'm in that this hill is on. So uh, a lot of times, even when the weather's perfect, I can't come land at it. And it is looking like I got a little bit of a tailwind. Nothing too big, hopefully. I just put it down right there on the uphill part, taxi it right up here to the top. Oh, what? Front view camera, yes please. feels good it feels good to be back out here and the plane looks good again too which I don't know I try not to care that much about looks but after you're used to how it looks on big tires and then you go to the little tiny things it was like you know it's just a shame I'll, ch I'll show you guys the coating so basically what he used I guess it's some sort of like mold rubber mold making compound and uh, just coated over it right to the edges on the tire so this whole thing has got he said a nice I don't know eighth inch thick layer so we'll see how it holds up. It is nice and uh, flexible. It was kind of glossy at first, but after a couple landings it buffed and it kind of just looks like the regular tires. So again, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Well, I got bad news. I have to get back into town. The wife and I are flying out of town for the weekend for a friend's birthday. So I gotta go get packed and, and get headed to the airport. The other airport, gotta go ride back seat in one of the big planes. So uh, anyway, I figure this is probably a nice place to uh, wrap this video up, right? Some hill in the Sierra Nevadas, Northern Nevada, high, high desert. It's just a beautiful area. I have such a nice playground. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys liked it. If you did hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't come be my wingman and catch you guys on the next one. See ya.